this police station and that library in this district, which is Blonigan's district, if I'm not mistaken. Keith Ellison, be very clear. In 2013-2014, under Barack Obama and Joe Biden, you did a deal on behalf of Minnesota through the congressional hearings where I was supposed to be paid for a Social Security settlement due me where Quayle violated my rights, LaFleur violated my rights. I was supposed to be paid from a police brutality claim where Joshua R. Williams was supposed to give me $250,000. And Joshua R. Williams at that point in time did a deal with Keith and them. And I don't know if I was supposed to quit smoking weed. I don't know if they gave me 10 years to quit smoking weed. But under the ideology that I was never arrested, charged, convicted of any marijuana crimes, I was never even uh, dealt with by a police officer ever regarding my marijuana except for Joel when Joel came to my house at uh, 3625 Oliver and Joel said Sharon I just need to go in for a minute you're not in trouble blah 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 I said don't smell nothing he said okay next time Sharon spray something and if I happen to come back for any reason Sharon uh, uh, we will be under the understanding that you sprayed before I got here because you weren't under any trouble to begin with. So under the ideology that, you know, I didn't have to quit smoking weed, if you gave me an illegal medical directive, Keith, Barack Obama, Joe Biden, and you're now settling my claims from 10 years ago because you thought that it took me 10 years to, to decide that I'm not going to quit smoking weed. I was never mandated by any court to quit smoking weed. And under Lionel Norris, when I reported Bobby Joe Champion, Paul Thiessen, Don Samuels, I did not report Keith at that time. I told Lionel Norris on, again, August 16th, when I started court with him, that again, I'm going to be honest with you, Judge. I told him I smoke weed. He said, I don't think you're on drugs, though. I said, I'm not on drugs, Your Honor. I don't need any medication. He said, I agree. Unfortunately, the Department of Human Services said in the Department of Human Services court, you don't have any rights, and they're now getting ready to take your adoptive child, and they want you to do a Rural 25. And I said, okay. So I tried to do a Rural 25. And nobody would give me a Rule 25 in the state of Minnesota because all my doctors said I'm sane, sound. I've talked coherent. I'm well within my rights, and I understand them as they're given to me most of the time. With that being said, they refused to say I needed a, a Rule 25, right? So nobody in 2014 access could say that I was on drugs until, again, your claims were brought by, again, Ilhan Omar, Tim Waltz's, you know, round up money through the donations. And then they brought all my claims from Keith. And I said that they began to target me, that Ilhan Omar. So you be very clear that every time I feel the state of Minnesota, everybody who votes, who's voted, I need my vote right now to be counted. I said that under the election of 2013, they have been stealing my vote because in theory, you have to be a registered citizen alive. I was born baby girl Martin. I put my name on my birth certificate at the age of 19, right before my dad again moved to the state of Minnesota and then uh, began his lifelong love with Patricia McCampbell. With that being said, at that time, I put my name on my, on my birth certificate. It read baby girl Martin. So I said, babe, my uncle might be using babe, B, girl, Martin as my, you know, uncle identity stealing ass motherfucking cousin, relative, whatever the fuck you want to call this bitch ass right now. I said him and Bobby Joe Champion was using my money. And I said that they've emptied out my account. So right now, Tim Watts, the state of Minnesota is liable for any money that I'm saying you have now stolen out of that account where Joshua R. Williams through Wells Fargo said there was going to be identity theft, merchant theft. And you be very clear about the Lorillard R.J. Reynolds contract where I said you might have been, you know, tampering with my Newports, tampering with my marijuana, specific to Rise. 
RISE might be a Department of Human Services welfare program where RISE, you know, is uh, 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 actually an employment place, not a dispensary. I said closing Walgreens, closing CVS, building the RISE and the green goods was just a newer way to, you know, make people feel good about getting their pharmaceutical meds. And they were adding a little weed to your medication to give you, you know, an appetite. And I said, I needed my weed back. Right, because when I was on regular weed, I was a normal sane person. I didn't accuse the state of Minnesota of discrimination. I accused district number one. I accused district 281. I accused Judge Quayle. I accused Judge LaFlave. I accused Judge Boylan. These were specific people. I accused Michael Young, badge number 7895, of putting me in a headlock, body slamming me, and refusing to give me his name and information after he said, my bad. I was at the wrong house. I should have been over there across the alley. You know, where again, some black woman, Bobby, your family, right? Huh? Your family with uh, Sean G was targeting my son after she threw a bottle at Jerice, right? Because her nine-year-old was